What's up guys, my name is Ace and today I have a complete breakdown of every fully auto assault rifle in Black Ops 2. These stats were all collected and calculated by me personally, so I'm very confident in their accuracy, although numbers such as rate of fire may be rounded slightly. Also these stats were collected on launch day. They probably will be patched in the future, but stick with me for that and I will let you know about those patches when they happen. Alright, so let's jump right into the good stuff. So for fully automatic assault rifles in Black Ops 2, we have the MTAR, the Type 25, M27, SCAR-H, and the AN-94. So the first stat that I want to cover is the number, number of bullets each gun takes to kill at different ranges. The first number is the number of bullets it takes to kill at close range, and the second number is the number of bullets it takes to kill at a long range. The ones that are highlighted in white are the ones that are statistically best in this category. So as you can see, the SCAR-H comes out on top in this category. It kills in just three bullets at any range. The MTAR and the AN-94 are also considered to be high damage as they kill in three bullets at close range and four at long range. So the next categories we're going to look at are rate of fire and time to kill. Time to kill is based off of rate of fire and bullet to kill, and it assumes that every bullet hits its target. So the guns with the fastest time to kill don't necessarily kill the fastest in reality because they don't always land every bullet on target. One quick thing I want to point out is that the AN-94 fires a two round burst with the first shot fired. So realistically it can kill a little bit faster as long as the uh, first two shots hit their target. So as you can see the assault rifles with the highest rate of fire are the Type 25 with an insane 1150 round per minute and then the MTAR and M27 are next closest with just 800 rounds per minute. The assault rifles with the fastest time to kill are the MTAR at close range the Type 25 at any range, and the SCAR-H at long range. The next category we're going to cover is the time it takes to aim down the sight of a weapon without the quick draw attachment. As you can see, the full auto assault rifles all take 0.15 seconds to aim down sight, which is actually only a couple of hundredths a second slower than the SMGs, but we'll cover that in a later video. Now let's move on to reload time. This is without the fast mag attachment, and this is the time it takes to reload with reload cancelling. So this isn't the time it takes for the full reload animation to take place. This is the fastest possible time that you can reload each gun because we want to know the true potential of each gun rather than the time it takes the average noob to reload it. If you don't already know what reload cancelling is, I'll be doing a video on it soon, but basically it, it allows you to uh, use your weapon faster after reloading. Also, this reload time is not from an empty magazine since the majority of the time when we reload, there are still some rounds in the magazine. So the fastest reloading full auto assault rifles are the SCAR-H, the M27, and the AN-94. And the slowest is the Type 25. Next we will compare magazine sizes. These are without the extended clip attachment. Uh, so as you can see, all of the full auto assault rifles are equal in this category, and they all have 30 rounds in each magazine. So finally, we're going to look at one of the most important stats of a gun, and that's its recoil pattern. I'm going to show you the clips of me testing the recoil so you can see the range I was shooting from and see that everything is kept consistent. So the MTAR has quite a tight grouping, but the recoil is relatively random within that grouping. So longer range shots will be difficult without peppering the trigger because you don't know which way the gun is going to kick. So the Type 25 has quite a hard recoil that kicks up and to the right but it is very predictable, so you can control it. The M27 is pretty much the ACR of this game, accuracy-wise. It has a very tight grouping, even when fired full auto, so it's awesome at longer range. The SCAR-H kicks upward very hard. One good thing about the recoil of this, though, is the fact that it kicks pretty much straight up, and it doesn't sway left or right too much. So as long as you're able to manage the upward kick, you can still remain quite accurate with this weapon, and it might even result in extra headshots. So finally, the AN-94. The recoil pattern on this rifle is upwards with a fairly large and random side-to-side -side sway. I wouldn't recommend firing this weapon full auto at any range, but remember it has that two round burst for the first two shots. So if you pepper the trigger, you not only reduce the recoil, but you also increase the fire rate. So before I show you the complete graph of all the stats, I just want to quickly remind you to rate, comment, and subscribe if you'd like. Also, you may want to favorite this video so you can check back because I know it's a lot of information to sink in all at once and you'll probably want to refer back some other time. So here's the complete graph with pretty much everything you need to know about the full auto assault rifles in Black Ops 2. I'm not going to tell you which gun is the best. This is for you to decide and I hope that you don't just use these statistics to make that decision. I encourage you to play around with every one of these guns and get a feel for each of them. 
a lot of the time the gun with the best stats may not be the best gun for you. So be sure to try everything out, mix up the attachments a little, and just get a feel for everything. The next weapon breakdown I'll be doing is the SMGs in Black Ops 2. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time.